how to mix a color. What we're going to do is mix a color that's in here. This is one of these sort of inert colors that shows up on photographs from time to time that kind of says, gee, I'm not quite sure what color that is. Well, in this case, the first thing you want to do is identify the color. The problem with this is that it's actually not one color, it's two colors. There's the bottom part, which is one color, and the top part, which is another color. So you need to identify what you're actually trying to mix. So in this case, we're going to mix this bottom part of the color right here. So how do we do that? Number one, identify the color. So I've segregated out what I want. I need to identify that color. There are only six colors to choose from. Red, yellow, blue, orange, green, or purple. It has to be one of those colors and no others. So I look at that and I say, well, it's definitely not green. I can tell you right now it's not yellow. And it definitely doesn't look orange, which just leaves me with red and blue. So I've got red and blue, which makes purple. So it's got to be a reddy blue purple somewhere in there. So it it's definitely looks to me like it's purple. So when I go to choose my colors on my palette, I now need to choose the appropriate color. So I'm going to take a blue that tends to the red side, not a blue that tends to the green side. I'm picking a blue that tends to the red side. And out of my reds then to make a purple, I'm going to choose one of the reds that'll make a purple. Not one that's to the orange side and going this way. I'm choosing one that tends to the blue side, which when I put that in, instantly makes me a really nice purple. So I've got my base purple color made. The second step is pick your value. Value is how light or dark is this. So is it dark like this? No. Is it light like this? No. So it's a mid value. It's in between. So I'm just going to take some white now and I throw that white into the purple and I make a mid range purple color right there. I have a nice mid range purple color. The third step is then to say how bright or how dull is this? What is the chroma of the color you're trying to make? Well, I look at this and I say it's definitely not a bright color and it's definitely not a mid range. It's a very dull. That's a very gray color. So what's the opposite color? I need to gray my color. I will use the opposite color to gray it. The opposite of purple is yellow. So I'm just going to take a little bit of yellow. And as soon as I put that in my purple, notice how gray it goes. I take a little bit more yellow. I gray that down. I've got a little residual on my brush there that's making it purple. So I'm going to add a little bit more yellow to it. And I get a nice gray color. And right away, here's that nice gray purple. So the steps, identify the color, identify the pigment, identify the value, identify the chroma. Bob's your uncle. I'll just extend this color all the way over to the edge here. We just slide this over. Voila!